everyone, this is Jude with another useful video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about how to apply a stamp to a PDF document. So if you are in the legal industry, want to buy real estate or are going to sign up to a contract, this video is a must watch for you. Today we are going to cover some of the basic and advanced stuff about PDF stamping or e-stamping like How do stamps work in PDF? Adding stamps to your PDF documents for both Windows and Mac with iOS as a free bonus How to add stamps to your PDF on preview for Mac How can you add stamps on PDF using Wondershare PDF Reader? And tackle common user issues including how to change default authors names of comments why the background of your stamps isn't transparent with how to transfer your customer signature from one PC to another with some other awesome stuff. If these issues sound familiar, then tune in till the end. The PDF stamp may contain an image, text or drawing. A PDF stamp is a successful method against piracy, which is the best security measure. It helps to make sensitive information confidential by labeling the important information. PDF stamp can play an important role to hook attention towards the content that is in PDF format. You can easily install it on iOS, Windows and Mac. Using PDF element is the feasible way to add your stamp effectively in the minimum time. Now, follow these easy steps to learn how you can add your stamp to the PDF using PDF element. Solution 1. How to add stamp to PDF using PDF element for Windows. The very first step is to download the PDF element and install it. You can find the download link in this video description. Run PDF element and import your PDF document. Click on the comments tab and here you will find two stamp icons. One is used for adding the given stamp directly. Another is used for adding the stamp for customization by yourself. Well, let's jump into adding the stamp directly. Click on the stamp icon. You will see there are four types of stamp. Standard business, sign here, dynamic and digital stamps. Another side, you can add a customised stamp on your PDF by clicking on create a stamp. Now, enter the name of your stamp or you can upload an image as a stamp. Click select image and choose one image which you want to become a stamp. In this way, it's very easy to do, right? You can also manage your stamp easily in the comments tab. Again, click on the stamp icon. If you already have an existing stamp, open the manage stamp section. You can also create, edit and delete stamps. Here is some useful information for you in case you want to set up a specified author to identify something. Choose a stamp which you have already added and right click. You will see the properties. Here you can modify the author, subject and stamp opacity. Also you can click here to complete it. Change the name, company, even department. Then click OK to do it. As we mentioned you can set up your customised stamp as a template. That means you can use them in other pages or specified pages which you choose. Also, right click in your well done stamp. You will see apply to multiple pages. Choose all to select the pages which you need. All, even or odd pages. Or choose the range to choose your pages. After adding the stamp, you can leave a comment for this stamp if you need it. Open pop up note here. Write the comment and send this file. Plus, they can reply to you when someone has a different view for your stamp via reply box. Although Add Stamp is very simple, you want to make great use of it. It can include more details. Ok, so how to add stamp to PDF in Mac? Solution 2. How to add stamp to PDF using PDF Element for Mac. In this part, we use PDF Element for Mac because how to add stamp in PDF using PDF element for Windows and Mac, both of them have the similar process. So, in this part, we will mainly introduce how to add stamp via step by steps on PDF element for Mac. Instead, some tricks and tips. However, you can watch the last part to see some add stamp in PDF skills. Okay, let's make sure you use the software now. You can find the download link via the description of this video. Okay, let's start. Launch the software and open your PDF file in it. Tap on markup and click on the stamp icon. They also have two stamp modes. One is adding stamps directly which we fixed and you can choose custom to set up your stamps template. Choose stamp and add the stamp directly. Click and select your built in stamp. Place the mouse cursor on one of the eight blue boxes on the edge of the stamp to allow for resizing through dragging in the direction needed. 
It's also possible to drag the stamp by clicking and holding on it or by using the arrow keys for precise movements. Okay, now let's choose custom and customize a new stamp by yourself. If you choose to create a stamp, you can customize it in the pop-up create stamp window. You need to enter the text in the sample text box and at the same time you can preview the stamp you created in the preview window. In addition, if you don't want to show the date and time in your stamp, you can deselect the date and time checkboxes. In addition, you can also change the shape and colour of the stamp. After setting, tap done and put the created stamp in the right location. You can also import an image as a stamp in your PDF document. You can create your signature as the stamp to add in your PDF file. After clicking the markup and signature button to create the signature you need. Solution 3. How to add stamp to PDF using PDF Element for iOS. If you are an iOS user then you can easily download the PDF Element for iOS from the following download link. You can also find the download link in the description below. After downloading the PDF Element app, run this app from your iPhone or iPad and open your PDF document. Click on the comment button present in the center of the screen on your device. More tools for using the PDF document will open. Click on the stamp tool present at the right corner of the second last number in the tools. After clicking on the stamp, different built-in logos appear on the screen and you can choose the one you need for your PDF document. Place the cursor on one box on the edge of the stamp to resize through dragging in the different direction required. It's also possible to carry the stamp by clicking and holding on it by using the arrow keys for precise movements. After adding a custom stamp, you have to save your PDF document. If you don't need a stamp, you can create your signature as the stamp to add in your PDF document files. For that, click on the comment tool at the centre of the device screen. This click will introduce many more options that you can use in your PDF document. After that, click on the signature button to create the signature you need on your PDF document. You will get two options here, create signature and add a temporary signature. Choose the one you need and then add your signature to the PDF document file. Now, your signature is on the PDF document and you can adjust it accordingly on your document file. If you didn't have the above software or app, now you can use these two free methods to process it. Solution 4. How to add stamp to PDF on Preview, Mac solution. This is the solution for Mac users by using Mac Preview. Open Preview and make a regular shaped box. Give a border to the regular shaped box. Now place the text that you need in the stamp. Finally, open your PDF document and then press V to add the stamp to your document. That's it! Solution 5. How to add stamp to PDF on Wondershare PDF Reader. The free Windows solution also works well. Please find the download link via our video description or pinned comment as well. Wondershare PDF Reader is a free version from PDF Element. It has premium features you can access for free. To add stamps to a PDF document, follow the following steps. Add PDF files by clicking open. Click on the comments tab and find the stamp icon. Now, design and personalize the stamp with your own design. Because the process is similar with the PDF element for Windows, you can return to the first part to find the details about adding stamp in PDF using PDF element for Windows. We also introduce more tricks and tips in this part. Your feedback is everything to us, and you can also exchange your thoughts via comments. Question 1. How to change the default author names of comments? Changing the author name of the comments is very simple. By default, the author's name is picked up from your operating system, but you can modify it in the software. This feature is available in the software. Question 2. Why is the background of the custom stamp I added not transparent? The background is not transparent in the custom stamp because it considers an image. If you want a transparent background, then first make your image transparent. To do this, you may have other ways such as Adobe Photoshop, etc. So, after making your image transparent, insert it as a custom stamp and you will face no problems. Question 3. How to transfer the custom signature of computer A to computer B? Transferring the custom signature of computer A to computer B is a bit tricky. All the custom signatures are stored in the signature folder inside the installation directory. Just find it in computer A and make a copy of it, then paste it to the similar directory of computer B. That's it. Question 4. I don't want to add a signature to every page. Is there any other way? Yes. You don't have to add a signature every time. You can add a signature to multiple pages in a single attempt. Follow the following chain to get the solution. 
Right click the signature. Select apply to multiple pages. Select page range. Inside the page range, enter the number of pages where you want to add the same signature. Question five. Why is the same image uploaded on a custom signature with a white background and a handwritten signature with a transparent background? A handwritten signature is a drawing based stamp. It has a white background that is automatically erased by the software. On the other hand, if you upload a signature in the form of an image, then it's processed as an image. So you find the background with it. To fix this, you should first make the signature image transparent and then insert it. You will find it transparent too. Well, that's all for now. If you found this video useful, then do click the like button and subscribe because I need friends. Also, check out other awesome stuff on our channel. You will find them useful as well. As usual, the download links are in the description. So until next time, Bella Ciao.